A real estate development company is trying to build the world's first 100% solar powered city in southwest Florida. Sid Kitson of Kitson and Partners presented his plan at the Sustainable Florida Conference today here in Palm Beach Gardens, but he says there are still some major obstacles. It's been frustrating, very candidly, to, uh, to have not had the legislature approve um, our ability to, uh, to build this, uh, you know, the 75 megawatt solar power generating facility that we'd like to put in at Babcock Ranch. Earlier this year, the Florida legislature shot down a proposal by Florida Power and Light because of the increased burden it would place on taxpayers and ratepayers. Kitson argues that cost would be minimal, but critics say even if they got the generator, it still couldn't produce enough energy to power a city covering four times the area of Manhattan. I just don't see how 75 megawatt can produce enough power, even at peak uh, capacity, for that amount of, uh, of meters out there. Roger Lewis works for Lakeland Electric and draws his skepticism from what they've been able to do with a solar power generator about one-third the size. The claim uh, of being 100 percent energy uh, independent uh, simply uh, is not feasible uh, given the, the present technology concerning storage of electric energy. That's the very thesis that we're trying to put forward here at Babcock Ranch. Let's find those technologies. Let's solve the storage issue so that you can, in fact, um, have 100% uh, solar-powered cities not having to even go on the grid. While certain key components of Babcock Ranch, like the solar power generator, are still not approved, Kitson says they hope to begin construction late next year. In Palm Beach Gardens, Lane Wright, Sunshine State News.